we got some big news, folks. Two, count them, two big financial companies are going deeper and deeper into crypto. MasterCard and Venmo. And they're going for direct crypto transfers. This is not use any kind of third party. You don't need an intermediary. You're basically just transferring crypto across borders. And they're doing cross-border crypto settlement. As long as you have one exchange over here with the crypto and one, one exchange over there with the crypto, you can do it wallet to wallet. I'm not really sure what uh, got Venmo into this, but Venmo is actually doing crypto wallet to wallet as well. I think they both want in on the crypto game, guys. I think everyone wants in on the crypto game. I mean, think about it. MasterCard, the master of all cards. Actually, wait, no, this is a Visa card. Anyways, MasterCard, the master of all cards. And Venmo, one of the most popular money transfer apps there is. They're both allowing crypto transfer. Of course, they're gonna be fully KYC AM. Now, they're not gonna screw with the government. These are, remember, registered businesses. They can't afford to lose their business uh, for the sake of crypto privacy. So it will be fully tracked if you transfer crypto. But if you want to transfer crypto through the MasterCard or Venmo network, especially MasterCard, you know, that's a very, very trusted network among uh, people in the financial industry. It'll give crypto a lot more prestige as it goes. And I think it's a really awesome thing that these two companies will actually allow you to transfer crypto from wallet to wallet now. And, um, you know, borrowing their networks and their prestige, I think crypto can gain a lot more credibility. It has a lot more ways of expansion. MasterCard also says they have a lot more plans with crypto because, you know, they want to compete with the other card company, Visa, because they want to be the master of all cards. Whereas, um, whereas uh, you know, Venmo, I think, could possibly be even bigger. That could definitely hook into PayPal later. And, you know, I think they can open wallets for multiple cryptos. And that could definitely invite a lot of, like, non-crypto people into crypto. Once these big financial institutions open their doors, people are going to have a lot more respect. And they're going to have a lot more comfort in investing in cryptocurrencies. And that's what we're looking for, people. That respect and that kind of comfort to make us like one of the big players uh, in the financial field. That's what I'm really excited about, and that's what you should be excited about because we are making this happen. The crypto revolution is coming. You know, once they have MasterCard, Visa, Venmo, PayPal, there is no way these government folks are going to stop these companies. They're so invested in the financial industry altogether. And sooner or later, the entire financial industry is going to be more for than against crypto. The bankers will be split, and they will be helpless, helpless against our wrath. And then we can take them down and basically start our new financial empire. I mean, probably not because they're going to be in control of a lot of crypto as well, but at least there'll be new players alongside them uh, to actually play this game with them. So MasterCard, Venmo going deeper, deeper into crypto. That could really, really help the industry. And I think we're on that path. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.